a Sunday afternoon at four o'clock. Normally we'd be watching a ball game or something and now we're all huddled in our houses trying to stay occupied. Brad and I were talking about all of this and what we were going to do today and I have a burning question for you, and I want you to post this now for those of you who've joined us watching. I want to know, is there a quilter out there that has used up all of their quilting stash? Fabric, now I'm referring to when I say stash. Is there anybody out there that has actually used up all of theirs? I will tell you, I've been pretty flipped and busy. I've made about, um, I think I've done two quilt tops, about three or four table runners, and a whole lot of thinking about, and maybe I'm going to do it. But here's what we're about today. We've been sitting around kind of brainstorming about what we could do to generate some uh, fun for us and some education and excitement for you guys. Um, the Civil War is a time period that I've been in love with uh, for many, many years and have done a ton of research on and a ton of teaching on. We have a little booklet out that's called The Civil War Legacy, and it is something that, I, as I said, I have really taught this all over the country, and I've, it was even a, a huge class for me in Australia. Uh, not necessarily because of the history that those of us from America might be interested in, but mostly about the patchwork blocks themselves. Because whether you like the history or not, whether you like the coloring of the time period, we're looking at patchwork. And for all of you out there that do this, you know that it doesn't make any difference if I call it Civil War and you decide you want to do it in batik and three times the size, it flies. So what we are proposing is we're going to try to do a video a week. Our goal is this is going to be the introduction of what we're going to do and what we're offering. And then every Sunday, we will post a video sometime during that day. We're just not real sure about how our time frame is going to work, but that we would actually post a video. I'm going to do some hands-on. I'm going to do uh, some ruler um, calculations as well as traditional calculations. And for those of you who love AccuQuilt and play around with AccuQuilt, I'm even going to do a little conversion on some of the patterns that I will tell you what I'm going to be working on. I, I think I'm going to do this with one block, maybe two some weeks, because I have a plethora of of material to give you to play with. And what my thoughts are is I would give you the block and you're seeing a little bit of a quilt behind me and a little bit of the quilt on the table as well. I have already started a quilt in completely different coloration that doesn't look anything like um, the Civil War time period. And I'm going to be working on another one live with you. So I will actually have another one in a different coloration so that I can show you how I put elements together. And while I might not be completing an entire block, what I'm going to be doing is let's say that it's made up of half square triangles. I'm going to show you how I cut and sew a half square triangle. Now the block might have 10 in it, but I'm only going to actually execute one so that I can be teaching a lot of technique. I'm going to do a little fun and games in it. I'm going to do a little bit of history for those of you that are interested in that time period and what what we might come up with. Now, Brian and I were talking, now you guys know Brian's a cameraman, the one that bosses me around all the time. And so um, we were talking about, I said, I want to call it something. I, I don't know. Let's, let's think about this as a program that we can um, maybe call it something clever like a Civil War. Um, the book is titled Civil War Legacy, but we might call it something else. And I want you guys to name it. So I need to see a passel of names starting to show up. And between now and next week, I, we'll choose a name. Now, you're not going to get flown to Europe or anything like that. Not that you'd want to right now. But you're not going to get a big trip or anything. But we'll give you a shout out on your name if we use it. But we thought this could be something that we would say we were all hunkered down in the 2020 pandemic. And this is what we worked on. And so we would be able 
to have it have its own little name. We might do labels. Who knows what we're going to do? Now, I'm sure there's somebody out there going, oh gosh, wonder what this is going to cost me. Here's the deal. You're going to need the book to follow along with us. I have no way of knowing if you have the book, but if you don't have the book, you're just going to see me rambling and showing you, which I do a lot anyhow, and showing you some triangles. We're going to sell you the book. We've sold a jillion of them at 12 bucks. We're going to sell you the book for five bucks and we're going to pay the shipping. So this entire series, which we may, we're guessing that we're probably going to go at least eight or 10 weeks. We may be able to double up. If it looks like this situation is going to slow down some, we may double up and give you extra work. Obviously, if you have the book, you can work ahead if you choose to. So I'm already in progress on what we're going to be doing. And we're going to do this regardless of the number that participate. And remember, anyone can watch the videos. But if you want to work with the book, and it is just a little leaflet book, it's got, it is in black and white. But what I'm going to be doing is taking you through different ways of translating. We may at some point talk about settings other than the setting that I've used for this quilt. Um, I'm guessing that our videos are going to stay in that 20, 30 minute max, but in order to do a hands-on and actually do some education in the process, I want us to have fun with this. And, um, once I see how many jump on this bandwagon, I'll know whether I need to set up a Facebook page that may just be a comment section where we'll have two or three admins and you can come in and show a picture of your block. You'll be able to ask questions and it'll make it a little bit easier to control that content. So, Brian, have we got any questions? Just people from telling you where they're from. I love it. I will, I will love it. Love the fabrics you use. Nancy. Hey, Nancy from Iowa. Well, what's going on in Iowa? <laughs> um, let's see. N nobody's got like a, like a burning question, I, I suppose. And I don't know, like I said about you guys, we spent yesterday was llama shearing day and we were planning this, uh, this filming today because we had said we were going to go live and let me tell you folks, I can't do a whole lot of live because I can't keep my mouth straight. And so we have to, we're going to try to bluff through this one just so we can kind of get an idea for this. Tell about any of the questions that we, that you guys have, leave them while we're doing the live. Yep. Otherwise we'll go back and watch later. Because I'll make sure that I go back and answer those. And we know that everybody's busy and, and it might be that your children have tied you up and put you in a closet and you aren't going to be able to respond to this until later. So when you do get a chance, let us know because I want to make sure I'm willing to do this because I want to remake the quilt anyhow. But it'll be a lot more fun if we have a batch of people that are doing this with us. Another hello. Hi, Deb. Gosh, I was awake. Oh, there's Springfield. Brenda's in Springfield. Howdy. Terry DeBolt from Texas. What on earth's going on down in Texas, Terry? Good grief. I'm, these are people I haven't seen in forever. Well, as I said, it's just, I know you guys, we talk to a lot of our friends. We are diligent in trying to stay sequestered and trying to stay safe. And I know it's just a burden for a lot of people because there's a lot of sadness in the world. There's a lot of, of, of things that are totally out of our control. So about the only thing that I can control is what I do in my sewing room and what I'm about. And I just think it would be fun. Well, look, my night. Well, that Julie said hi. <laughs> look at that. I tell you, that's, that's my daughter-in-law. I made her do that. Uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin's awake. I hope you guys aren't freezing. Look at you. And look, I, I actually had on a, a top. I think I'm awful calm if I don't wear something that's got 37 colors in it. And, and I looked and I just kind of scared myself. And then I put this one on and got in front of the camera and went, Oh dear, it's a little perky as well. So anyway, this is what our plan is. We want a name. So here's your goal. You got to go on to K England Publications or kingland.com, order the book. We're paying the shipping now. Remember, it's going to cost you a flat five bucks. Where are you going to get a $5 class that I'm going to give you a boatload of stuff? And then 
And again, I won't know if you have the book or not, but you're going to be in trouble. So if I get somebody calls me and said, Kay, how many of those triangles did you cut? I'm going to know the answer of whether you have that book or not. Many of you probably have the book, and if you do, you'll be set and ready to go. So once we sign on next week, what I'm going to do is we'll get a little bit of a handle on how many of you are participating. So other than the book, I would encourage you to kind of think about a coloration you'd like. If you like the colors on the quilt in front of me, it's very traditional, very Civil war e style and meaning a little kind of muted, some beigey browns. I don't care if you want to use lime green and pink, just all you're going to need is a few fat quarters to start. Um, and I'm sure that some of you have local quilt shops. And if you do, by the way, let me know. How many of you have got a local quilt shop? Leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. But I want to know who's offering drive-by service. I just am dying to go shopping where I can call up and say, I need three spools of thread, two pack of needles, and four fat quarters. And you give it to me out in a car window. I just think that's a hoot. So I know that our retailers are suffering greatly. And the only thing that all of these things that I talk about with AccuQuilt and everything, you will need to still buy from your retailer. And many of them are going to offer shipping for you. So that's what you will need to be, uh, to be watching in, in that department as well. But a few fat quarters, your $5 book, a good attitude, and some time to spend with me kind of like in a classroom. And you'll be working on your own schedule. So let's see, somebody else, Brian, got Let them also know that the, all the videos, of course, will be on your YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Yes, we will put all the videos. Y'all already heard him. Oh, Nancy says inspired to sew in Cedar Rapids is giving in Cedar Rapids is giving them lots of opportunities to to stop and pick stuff up. That's great. Oh, granddaughter. my granddaughter said, "What's been your favorite quarantine activity so far?" Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Now keep it clean, folks. I want to know what your favorite quarantine activity. That's a that's a good one. Um, oh, and Brenda said in Springfield, they just stopped that. So I'm assuming she means you aren't able to drive by because I know they don't consider quilt shops and us fabric people that are addicted um, a necessary business, and it isn't in the big picture. But I do know that there's loads of stores still offering shipping. So even a lot of your local stores are shipping local just to be able to continue to take care of their customers. Um, oh, oh, look, Cindy said the back door in Greenwood is offering curbside service. And Crimson Tate is also, that's here in Indianapolis. That's Heather Gibbons store. Um, oh, Rory says her favorite uh, activity is eating snacks. Um, Gosh, loads and loads of great comments. Well, we didn't want to take up too much of your time today, but folks, I'm just telling you, we're going to be here with you. I know your local businesses are there with you. We want to keep you all safe and healthy. We want to be able to continue doing this, and we're going to do our level best to give you something fun to look forward to every Sunday. And remember, you're not on a timeline, and I'm not going to grade you, so you get to do this at your own pace, but I'm going to offer some real fun spins. Um, well, oh, get out of here. Look, at, look. Is it, he, I'm, I'm going to sneak in. <laughs> see, you just can't. I mean, he can't stand that I'm on camera and he's not. And he won't trust me on that end of it. Get out of here. I'm telling you. You should have seen him yesterday. Now, I'm trying to sequester myself. We're at the llama sharing. So I've hired him, well, he didn't get any pay, but I hired him to be the, the guy that picks up all the fleas and puts the llamas in the chute and kisses them, loves them and tell them it's going to be okay and all that much stuff while they get their shots and get their little nails clipped. And finally, about three animals in, I said to him, I'm going to fire you because all you're doing is out there schluffing around talking to the shearer and I'm back in the back, haltering them, wrestling them to the ground, trying to get them ready to put them in the chute. So... We had a, a long day of llama shearing yesterday, but I got a happy crew with new haircuts and a lot of great ideas for you guys. So I'll kind of check on all of your comments and I'll make sure that I answer them. But remember, you need the book, 
You need some fat quarters ready, and you need to come up with a clever name like uh, uh, we we survived the pandemic. I want it to be something kind of about patchwork. So use your imagination and between the two of us and Funk and Wagnalls or somebody like that, we'll pick a we'll pick a winner and we'll let you know. You guys have a blessed day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and if you got all the toilet paper, give it up and quit hoarding the toilet paper. See you later. Bye.